So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Sorry to have to hit butt y'all like that. But listen, bro, don't even worry about the hit butt. Yo, things have been going crazy, like feeling real strange and eerie around here today, man. You know what I mean? I've been seeing y'all comments. One of y'all talking about something was behind me in one of the videos. So now y'all got me a little nervous. My screen out of nowhere will go blurry. I, I don't know about that either. The door still creaks open. So, so just know, I'm a little bit on edge. You know, I was reacting to a Mr. Ballin video. I don't know if I dropped it, but if I haven't dropped it already, it's coming next. It was going in and out blurry for no reason with nothing on the lens. Nothing. Nothing. Just, just overall strange type vibes today. That's all I'm going to say. Strange type vibes. All right. But, um, so with that being said, before we get into this video, you already know my door is locked, window secure, whole house is secure. Make sure you pause the video and go do the same. All right. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. We're going to get into the scary footage that will make you scream so let's get spooky baby here we go this is freaking man let's go on i said what the is this is that the tree oh here, here. yeah how you doing i'm callan and this is slapped ham today we're looking at some super scary clips that are starting to freak the internet out so hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content, just like this. And uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around. A user on TikTok named Alex Calvo is haunted has recently taken to the platform to share what he believes is a haunting inside his home. In the first video, Alex explains that he's been hearing some strange noises. So he grabbed his phone to try and capture something on camera. Take a look. I'm out here in my living room again, which is right by where that chair moved uh, the other night. And uh, I don't know, there's just been like scary going on around that. What was that? Oh, oh no. What the Watching that again, slowed down and brightened up a little, you can see a shadowy face peer around the corner. Oh. Alex searches the area, but there's no one there. What the Eventually, he finds a set of keys laying on the carpet that were not there previously. Okay, uh, Leo, great grandpa, whatever. Great I got the keys. Oh. I got the keys. Um, I'm gonna try to find whatever they unlock. I feel like that's what you want me to do. Um, Did he say great grandpa? Stop scaring the out of me. I'm gonna do this. Stop scaring the out of me. Then in another video, Alex explains that he's certain he just saw his deceased grandmother after hearing some bizarre sounds. Okay, I am up here where all the different, like, scary activity has happened, and uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards. As I'm up here, I can feel, like, the pressure of steps landing around me. Um, I don't really know what's going on. Then suddenly, this happens. I, I just, this is, I don't know, this is not what I signed up for when I got this house. Oh! He might be, oh, let me go back. He might be lying, but the way he talking and rambling, you could tell it's, it's getting to him. It's gotten to him. He's nervous. He's he's fidgety. Just his whole speech pattern right now, how he talk, you could tell. I, I just, this is, I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. Oh! Here's the figure all brightened up. Oh! It looks to be an older woman wearing a robe. Really? Moments after this encounter, Alex finds a white dress or robe on the floor where the figure was spotted. Oh, now he got a naked ghost running around here. Somebody in here, or was that actually my dress? This joker got a naked ghost running around the house. My mother, oh my god. Oh, it's your grandma's. No, whoa, no, no. 
Holy shit. Oh. What the f Oh my god. The f robe is sitting there on the floor. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Alex says that he believes this to be the ghost of his deceased grandmother. However, a lot of viewers thought it might be a demonic presence posing as Alex's grandmother to trick him. Alex says he's going to be yelling, Grandma, put your clothes back on. What are you doing? Going to get in touch with a medium to talk about the situation. So let's hope all goes well for Alex and pray that his safety isn't at risk. Oh! A Reddit username photograph firm took to the website to share a picture that seems to show something eerie lurking in their house. Providing a bit of context, the OP states that when they were leaving the house one day for work, they took a quick glance up at the window on the second floor and noticed something legitimately disturbing that shouldn't have been there. The photo appears to show a man's face peering out the window. The uploader has said they live alone and insisted the house was empty. They also said that the figure in question was not moving at all and was as still as a statue. So if this story is indeed to be believed, then what could this figure be? Some commenters suggested that it might actually be a squatter, perhaps living in the roof or a crawl space without the homeowner knowing. This could potentially be a very dangerous situation. Others, of course, thought it could be a spirit haunting the home, perhaps the ghost of someone who died in the house years prior. So is this a ghost, a squatter, or is there another explanation? Let me know your take on this in the comment section down below. Back in 2019, YouTuber Time To Play TV had heard rumors of an old graveyard in Georgia that's been dubbed the Shadow Cemetery. Numerous witnesses have said they've spotted shadow figures walking among the graves or lurking in the nearby woods. But when they take a closer look, there's no one around. Curious to see if these legends are true or nothing more than hearsay, Time to Play TV ventures out to the cemetery to have a look for themselves. Sure enough, it doesn't take him too long to find out there is something strange about this cemetery. At around the 2.50 minute mark, as the uploader explores the woods surrounding the graveyard, something can be seen in the distance. Watch. It can be hard to see at first, but if we slow it down right as the camera pans, there appears to be a shadow figure standing among the brush. At the time, no one noticed it. While this sighting is brief, it's what happens later in the investigation that has left many viewers freaked out. Hello? As the team explores deeper onto the property, they spot something eerie. Take a look. Hello? Look guys, look. Is that the tree? Oh, oh Here, behind yeah. the tree. As you can see, there's a strange tall figure peering out from the bushes. It's dark and looks to be wearing a hood. When it moves, it almost looks like a mist. Is that the tree? Oh, sh Here, yeah. The, the YouTubers explore the area, but there's nothing there. Got my back. Right back here. No, I saw. I thought it was a tree at first, but it freaking moved. Hello? Hello? The comment section of the video seems to be unanimously shocked by the sighting. Right. Many praised the uploader's bravery as he actually chased after the figure rather than- now That I'm not doing. I'm not praising his bravery because to run towards something, you have no clue what it- Nah, to me that's stupidity. Nah, I ain't doing that. Mm-mm. I was- uh, I ain't like it when he did it. I just ain't say nothing. But now they talking about praising his bravery. No, we're not doing that. Other than running like so many other paranormal investigators. Is that the tree? Oh, oh sh here, yeah. The tree. 
So what is this mysterious figure that was seemingly following Time to Play TV around during his investigation? No one really knows for certain, but given the rumours that the cemetery is haunted by shadow figures, it certainly does make you wonder what's been captured on camera for all to see. See, I don't trust no cemeteries in Georgia. <laughs> you heard them say this takes place in Georgia. So I'm gonna drop my head, right? I don't trust, no way. Mm -mm. Grew up around some, bro. Some of the most creepiest vibes you could come across, man. Uh-uh. Hey. Is that the tree? Oh, oh sh Here, behind yeah. the tree. If you just take a quick look at the following photograph taken by Reddit user Emotional Park 1292, you'd probably think nothing of it. But a closer look seems to reveal something rather unsettling. If you brighten the photograph, you can clearly make out what appears to be a face in the doorway. As you can imagine, curious Reddit users asked the uploader a few questions. And one of the most frequently asked questions was if there was any activity in the house the photograph was taken in. This is what the uploader said. Yeah, lots. Uncle said he would occasionally hear child's laughter coming from the garage. Their three-year-old started having some night terrors and said a young boy would wake her up. I remember when I was there, doors and stuff would slam closed. Apparently the people who moved out before them refused to go upstairs and lived entirely downstairs for a couple of months before they left. Definitely quite the eerie story and one that would make you not want to live in the house even for a minute. It makes you wonder, is the entity captured in the photograph that of the mysterious child that would wake people up in the middle of the night? I agree. Definitely look like a child. Definitely look like a child playing in the closet. You know how they, they go in the closet, get behind the door, open the door and peek from behind the door? That's exactly what this looks like, but you have to lighten the image to see it. Yeah, I definitely believe what the uncle was telling them. Or is there a simpler, less freaky explanation? I'd love to hear your take on this story and what you think that figure is in the photograph. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I think a kid. I think a kid. Dahulu Kala is a smaller paranormal investigation channel on YouTube based in Indonesia. They often explore abandoned locations hoping to catch evidence of the paranormal. In a video published to their channel in October of 2021, the crew head out to Complex Mati, a haunted complex that's been abandoned for approximately 20 years in the Caladeras area located in Jakarta. Just by taking one look at the place, it becomes clear that this complex has certainly seen better days. Despite the foreboding environment, nothing too mysterious seems to happen. That is until the end of the video when the camera inadvertently captures something strange. Watch. While one of the men tries to contact a spirit with a device in his hands, as the camera turns, you can see a fleeting glimpse of some kind of shadowy figure. Some viewers thought it may have just been one of the men's shadows cast by the torch lighting. However, if you slow it down, it definitely seems to move of its own accord. So what is it then? Was there a homeless person hiding in the abandoned building, perhaps keeping an eye on the men? Or was it genuinely a ghost? Either way, this scary footage is unsettling whatever way you look at it. Yeah, something is definitely, definitely watching him. The following video is posted to Reddit by a user named The Clownin and features a piece of home surveillance footage. Take a look at what the camera caught. A mysterious shadow-like figure seems to appear out of nowhere. It has a strange hunched posture as it turns around and vanishes as quickly as it appeared.
Sadly, the OP hasn't said much in regards to the footage and the context behind it, but he has spoken about the family member who supposedly gave them the footage in the first place, stating, I originally thought the camera was for in case somebody robbed her, but it's because she heard noises downstairs when she was upstairs. If the footage we're seeing is indeed real, then it definitely- I might need to get one of those. Oh yeah. I might need to get one of those and uh, put it in my, uh, put it in here. So I can see what type of activity or pick up something. <laughs> then I might be coming to y'all live from a different location. You know what I'm saying? I might need to get one of those. What is this going on? Oh, my, my bad. What is... Somebody going off. I'll keep trying to mute it. There it go. It seems as though the woman is living with a potential shadow figure. Yeah, like when you put that camera up and you see that, your life's changed forever. Now you got to move. Now you're going to think about it in the next place. That's going to always be in the back of your mind. So is this really a ghostly entity caught on camera? Or is it just somebody else's shadow that we couldn't see? Be sure to tell me your ideas in the comment section down below. That's weird. That's weird. A Reddit user named OKAdhesiveness6788 okay explains that they work at a psychiatric hospital that is rumoured to be haunted. The uploader shows a piece of CCTV camera footage that was recorded somewhere inside the hospital. It seems to show something strange. Take a look. Wow, this is freaking man. It's cold. My eyes say, what the f is this? <laughs> As you can see, there's a grey shape moving about the room. The uploader elaborated on the hospital, saying, Yesterday a light and faucet was turning on and off. Today a nurse had their chair pulled back. I've heard stories of charts flying and growling noises, all sorts of fun stuff. Sadly, the quality of the footage plus the angle it's filmed on doesn't provide many answers. Some commenters thought it was nothing more than a piece of cobweb floating in front of the camera's lens. This is freaking man, it's cold. My eyes say, what the f is this? Mm -hmm. so Others, however, thought the grey shape moved far too strangely to just be a piece of spider's web. Yo, if she the security guard, <laughs> she is not trying to secure the perimeter right now. She's just watching the screen. I ain't going out there. I don't blame her. And given the employees' first-hand accounts of bizarre activity happening throughout the hospital, it does make you wonder what actually is going on. I'll throw this out to you, the viewers. Spider's web or something a little more mysterious? Before we take a look at some chilling baby monitor footage, remember to tickle that subscribe button there, then smash that bell icon there and turn on all Airy footage was captured by a baby monitor watching over a child as they sleep in their room. Take a look at what happens. Out of nowhere, the child's blanket appears. Now, you naysayers, here you go. Explain that. And don't hand me, oh, it's a string or it's something attached. That ain't look like, I don't see no string to be pulled down by an unseen force. Even if it was a string, it would either pull to the side or pull to the back, right? And it would lift up the lip, the, the top part of it to pull. Like, come on, bro, uh-uh. No, explain this, somebody. <laughs> a couple of seconds later, the father comes in to tuck the blanket back onto his child before the video comes to an end. Short of this being an off-colour prank, the footage does appear to be genuine. I don't think any normal parent would deliberately try and scare their child by yanking at their covers with a piece of string. Not even that. Once you get your, anybody who knows that a kid, once you get that little kid to sleep, you want him to sleep. You don't want to wake him up. This is your time to relax. Why are you doing this? 
No, I ain't doing that. So what could have possibly caused this to happen then? Was there genuinely some sort of paranormal entity lingering around in this young boy's room? If so, what could have possibly happened had the father not come in just a few seconds later? That definitely would have freaked me out. So if you can't get enough of the old- Now what happens if your kid wake up and he start doing things out of the norm? He ain't walking yet, but all of a sudden he just stand up and start walking. Now you got a decision to make. You got a real, real, real situation to make right there, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I don't play around. Yeah, I wouldn't expect no parent to play. I think that's real and I wouldn't, they got to get out of there before, it, you know what I mean? It looks like it's after your child. You got to get out of there. Uh, you do. I mean, but um, yeah, man, I don't, I'm, I'm going to check around this room. See if I feel some cold spots and see what's going on down in here. All right, I'll keep y'all updated. Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think and uh, stick around and stay tuned. Until next reaction, I'm gone. Peace.